So for this project, we're going to navigate to our Dropbox folder and we're going to open up the file called Lego Block 2x2. Now we're going to click on Start 2D Sketch and we're going to pick the flat horizontal work plane. On that work plane, we are going to select the Rectangle tool and we are going to go to the origin and sketch a square. We are then going to use the Dimension tool and we will dimension that square to be 16 millimeters by 16 millimeters. Once we have completed that, we need to click the Finish Sketch button and then use the Extrude command to turn our two-dimensional square into a three-dimensional cuboid that is 10 millimeters in height. Now we want to create a new sketch on that top surface, so we click 2D Sketch and we click the top surface, and now we need to draw a circle on this surface, and we must dimension the circle to be 5 millimeters in diameter. Even though we've dimensioned the circle to be 5 millimeters, it's very important that we also dimension the center point to be a certain distance from the side and the bottom. Now we need to use the dimension tool and then we need to click on the center point and then click on the left hand edge and make the dimension four millimeters and then click on the center point again and click on the bottom edge and make that dimension also four millimeters. Now obviously we need to recreate that circle a further three times but we're not going to redraw it. Instead we're going to use the rectangular pattern tool. So we select the rectangular pattern tool, then we select the circle and then we tell it which direction we want it to move in. So we select the left hand edge. Notice that it puts the circle down below. We need to use the flip button if that happens so that it moves it up. The dimension in that box there needs to be eight millimeters. Once we've done that, we need to click on direction two and we need to click the bottom yellow line. That moves a further two circles out to the right hand side, but again we need to dimension this box to be 8mm as well. Once we've done that, click OK and then click Finish Sketch. We now want to extrude these circles, so we click the Extrude button and then we click on each circle to make it pop up. The standard size for an extrude is 10 millimeters. However, that's not the size we need these to be. These need to be two millimeters in height. So we edit the dimension and we click OK. Now let's rotate the Lego block so that we can see it from the bottom. That area there, we need to shell that area to make it hollow. So we're going to use the shell command and we're going to click on that bottom face. And the size needs to be one millimeter and at that point we just click OK. That has now hollowed out our Lego block exactly how we want it. We can rotate our model to make sure that it looks the way it should from all angles. All that's left to do now is to select the colour and material selector and go to the drop down and pick a colour of your choice. Thereafter you should navigate to the File Save As menu and make sure you save your file with a file name that includes the color, such as 2x2 Lego block dash red. Thereafter, it's really easy to make duplicates by simply changing the color to an alternative color such as green, and then going to the file save as menu again and renaming it a different name such as 2x2 Lego block green.